The leaders of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, meeting in New Delhi on Thursday, drafted a joint statement lambasting the West's, quote, aggressive monetary policies and dominance of global institutions. Collectively known as the BRICS, the heads of the world's five largest emerging economies also took steps at the fourth annual summit towards greater unity and launched a proposal to create a financial institution that could eventually rival the World Bank. At the one-day summit, leaders also signed two agreements to enhance trade ties. In a joint statement, the BRICS also labeled bank loans, bond buying, and quantitative easing measures by America and Europe in the wake of the global financial crisis as aggressive actions that have flooded the developing world with excess liquidity. In a further criticism of the West's dominance of global institutions, India's Prime Minister called on the BRICS nations to unite over reform of the United Nations Security Council. The leaders also reiterated demands on the International Monetary Fund and World Bank to implement promised voting and quota reforms by January 2013. While the group is united in their calls for greater representation at a global level, individual members are often divided when it comes to addressing multilateral issues and frequently clash at international bodies such as the UN. But in what could be the start of a more cohesive organization, today the group took steps to create their first institution in the form of a BRICS-led development bank. Marisa Christian, Ivy Times TV.